This video is going to be on how to unlock a folder in Windows 7, and it might work in Windows 8, Windows 10, who knows. So I'm sitting here looking at my computer, and I've got a locked fo folder. That is new. I could, might be able to get rid of it by rebooting. I probably should reboot to see if that fixes it. But my music folder is locked. My pictures are locked and my video is locked. Now, I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna get a message, access is denied. I'm gonna click on my videos over here. I don't know if this is gonna take me in. Okay, so that's unusual, but I can no longer get to my videos now. And I have my music. I can't get to my music. And my music over here, access denied. So obviously something went wrong here with the sharing. And again, it might be a reboot problem. Um, I could maybe go back and do a recovery, but let's see if we can get this working. Um, yeah, I really don't know why it's locked, but because this is locked, this is now locked. So let's go. Before I do that, if my videos help you, thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, share. This is a review channel, so if you have something you need reviewed, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do it. Um, and if the video helps you out, even if it doesn't help you out, ask for my PayPal info. Leave me a massive donation because I'm awesome. So what we have here is this folder with this lock over here. And I'm going to take the mouse and I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says properties and left click it. And we come up with this box over here. So let's zoom in. I don't know if this is going to fix it, but we're going to try. So that is the box. I'm going to go over to security and I'm going to left click security. And I should, now because I'm an administrator, I should be able to have access to all of this. This should only be blocking people that don't, that are not administrators, but that is not the case here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edit button over here, left click on the edit button. And I should have something in this box that says users. It should also let administrator do this, but I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Um, and there is the name. That's my account name. Name is the PC administrator. So I'm going to click add. Left click add. And we come up with a box. Now there are two things you can type in this box. You can type in users or you can also try to type in authenticated users. So I'm going to type in users and we're gonna see what comes up if this works. Users, and then I'm gonna go click over here, check names. Now I believe doing authenticated users might do the same thing, I don't know, but we're gonna click check names and we've got name, PC users, and now, remember, I think we're doing this on the music over here, so this should disappear. This over here, let's see what happens. I still don't know if I'm gonna have access to anything. I'm going to click apply. An error occurred, access is denied. This is not good. Okay, so let's go back in and type users again. Add, okay, we've got users. And now I want to give users, I should have read and execute, list and control, read. I should have access to all of this stuff. Read, write, I should have full control. Let's try full control for users and see what we end up getting. It doesn't want me in there. That's very interesting. That should work. Let's go over to here to my music. Now, if it doesn't work for you, then you've got the exact same problem that I have. But I've got name users. I want to click on administrator. Administrator has full access to everything. Very interesting. And this 
name account has access to everything. And let's go over to this thing now. Properties, security, name. Let's click on name. Let's click on, uh, okay, so the name that I just added has full access to everything. And administrator has full access to everything. Interesting, but we're gonna go over to pictures, the locked folder, and we're gonna move that over here, secure Tate. I'm missing the users thing over here. Very interesting. Um, administrator has absolutely no access to anything. And that is not right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the administrator full access to everything. And we're gonna see if that goes away. An error occurred, user public documents my access denied. I'm wondering if my PC was taken over. Did somebody steal my, uh, did somebody take control of my computer? Okay, well what I just showed you should work. You should be able to get full access to all of this. I have zero access to any of my documents right now. So, but that is the way to do it. I'm gonna do a reboot. And if uh, everything clears up, I'll let you know. If it doesn't clear up, I will let you know what I did. But that is the way to get access back to locked folders. After a reboot, you can see that the locked folder under my music is gone. The locked folder on my pictures and my video is still there. Yet, even though the locked folder is gone, I have no access to my music and my music. Um, I don't know why I still have access to my files where I save them under a under download. I save them under download, but I never save them under my music, my pictures, and my video. So I was able to get rid of the locked folder but I am not able to access anything yet, and I don't really know why, so let's try one last thing before I turn this off and just give up on it. We're gonna go back to Properties, and we're gonna go to Securitate, and we've got the name user in there. Um, permissions for everyone. We don't want permissions for everyone. Um, we do want permissions. It shows that I... Named user has all access, and administrator has all access, and system has all access, and everyone only has special permissions. Pretty interesting. Now let's go over to the other folder. We'll click on here, and we'll see what's going on with this one. Security, everyone has, should only have special permissions. Special permissions. System should have, system has nothing. Administrator has special permissions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go do the other thing that I just did before I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go into users. Now I'm gonna try two ways to do this. I'm going to type in authenticated users and I'm just going to click OK. We've got authenticated users over there. I have absolutely no idea what that means. And I'm also going to type in users and do the check names. And that's the one that I want and then I want OK. So I've got that. So let's go see what we have here. That's that. We've got read, execute, limited, and authenticated has the same thing. And now, what am I doing this on my video? So let's do apply. Access denied. Continue. Access denied. Cancel. So we're gonna cancel out of that. It does not want me to do it on that one. Let's try it on this one. Now it's populated the, uh, the username over there that I just did. And let's do one last one here. Let's do an add and let's do authenticated users again. And we'll pop that in there. And we'll apply. 
and access is denied. It really does not want me to have access to this. Um, authenticated users. Let's see if we can give them full control. No, it doesn't want that either. So we'll take full control away. Everyone, no. System, no. Administrator, full control. Let me name it. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing, yeah, I, I stopped it in the middle. Let's do one last thing here. Um, I, can't, I can't do the sharing thing up there because it doesn't allow any shared folders start synchronizing. Uh, normally you'd be able to do a share, but you can't even do that. So now my video, no access. I have zero access to any of these folders. And again, it could be because of how I modified this, but I do want to show you one last thing that if you look over here, we have libraries, and if I click on any of the libraries, my documents show up, my music shows up, my pictures show up, and my video shows up. So if I click on any of the libraries, my documents show up, my music shows up, the pictures show up, the video shows up. So whatever is going on in these locked folders, I don't know, but my uh, files are still there and I just don't have access to them through these folders here. So at least the video shows you how to unlock, how to get rid of that. I'm going to do that one more time on my pictures. Let's do property. Let's do securitate. Let's do edit. Let's do add. And I think I saved the authenticated user in the clipboard. Okay, I did. I'll click OK. The dog is going to bark in a minute. And then I want to also do add and I want to do U-S-E-R-S. U-S-E-R-S -E and I'm going to do check name. OK, so now we have that. We have authenticated users. I want to give them full control and username I want to give full control and I don't think any of it's going to work no it's not going to work access denied continue continue okay but when I do a reboot that is going to be gone so it just depends on if this was set if this machine was set up normally the right way <clears throat> I wouldn't be having this problem but this machine was a Windows XP to a Windows 7 conversion, so there are lots of problems with the permissions on the folders, but when I go over, like I said, to libraries, everything is good. Because if you look right here, when I started the video, my music had a locked folder, that is gone. My pictures had a locked folder, I need to reboot or maybe close this out and open it up. My video had a locked icon and it is gone. And all I did is I closed out the folder after I turned off the camera and went to my pictures. I mean, I closed out the folder, opened it back up. So all of the locks are gone, but there is just nothing in there because it's uh, completely locked from the Windows XP, Windows 7 conversion. But that's how you unlock a folder. Make sure you do that thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, like.